Tarot can be used to gain a deeper understanding of your zodiac sign. Each sign is related to certain cards in both the major and the minor arcana, with the major arcana cards being representative of overarching character traits or big picture concepts, and the minor arcana being representative of specific details and personalized experiences. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the cards associated with the sign Taurus. Make sure to stay tuned and watch for all of the other signs as well, so that in your next tarot reading, when you want to learn who you're going to marry or which one of your friends is talking about you behind your back, you'll know all of the astrological connections for each card. Taurus is most commonly associated with the Hierophant and the Empress cards in Tarot's Major Arcana. The Hierophant card is symbolic of the tried and true, the foundational parts of life which are timeless and can be counted on to offer us a wholesome sense of comfort and steadiness in the face of an ever-changing and chaotic world. Taurus is steady and enduring like the Hierophant. You possess an unwavering commitment to your values and you are measured in temperament and constitution. The Empress card is said to represent the planetary energy of Venus, Taurus's ruling planet. The Empress is lush, beautiful, abundantly creative, and kind. This is considered a very fortunate card of many blessings, in the same way that Venus is classified as a benefic or fortunate planet in astrology. Like the Empress, Taurus is grounded in earthy wisdom, naturally beautiful, with a fertile source of creative potential. You embody this card's qualities of nurturing kindness and gentle grace. Now we'll move on to the minor arcana, which is arguably way more fascinating. It was ancient Egyptian astrologers who subdivided each zodiac sign into three sections with distinctive energies that offer more nuance than the overarching generalizations that can be made about an entire sign. These sections were then later assigned associations with specific cards in Tarot's Minor Arcana. If you're watching for your sun sign, then the segments can be broken down into ranges of birth dates as shown on screen. If you're an advanced astrology student and you know how to read a chart, then these subsections are simply identified by dividing any zodiac sign into three equal segments with 10 degrees each. So the first section is comprised of 0 through 9 degrees of the sign and so on. You can look at any placement in your chart which falls within a particular span of degrees and consult the corresponding tarot card. If you were born between April 20th and April 30th, or you have any placements at 0 through 9 degrees of Taurus in your birth chart, then the Five of Pentacles is your card. This card is representative of overfixation on the current state of affairs, sometimes to the detriment of noticing or considering possible solutions. As the figures in the image suffer in a state of distress, they seem unaware that just behind them is a beacon of light and warmth waiting to offer assistance. The Tauruses in this group may tend to get stuck in their attachments to circumstances, behaviors, or people. On the one hand, Taurus's level of commitment is a wonderful and beautiful trait that I personally very much admire, but this card is a cautionary message to not take any commitments to an extreme. You may be prone to sticking with routines or relationships that harm you out of a sense of loyalty while neglecting better opportunities that are available. This card is an encouragement to consider your own best interests and be open to making changes that serve your highest good. If you were born between April 31st and May 10th, or you have any placements at 10 through 19 degrees of Taurus, then the Six of Pentacles is your card. This card speaks to good fortune and generosity. This particular group of Tauruses often takes an especially pronounced delight in nurturing or supporting others. Taurus is a sign of wealth, sometimes in the sense of material wealth, but Tauruses also have a wealth of love, intelligence, and their good nature to share. Fundamentally, the image in this card has to do with the and flow of possession. Money, love, knowledge, all that we value is useless if we cling too tightly or hide it away just for ourselves. Your purpose is not to claim these valuables as your own, but to be conduits for them. Receive them, enjoy them, and pass them on to others who may also benefit, making space in your life for even more. In this way, energy doesn't stagnate and you open yourself to receiving a steady stream of good things. It's like the concept of decluttering in feng shui, the ideology of which is based on the belief in Chinese philosophy that there's a natural rhythm and flow to universal energy. To be in harmony with that rhythm, it's beneficial to periodically clear out your living space or your mind or your soul and get rid of what you don't need, give away what you already 
already have plenty of so that you make room for new and even better things to enter your life. If you were born between May 11th and May 20th, or you have any placements at 20 through 29 degrees of Taurus in your birth chart, then the Seven of Pentacles is your card. This is a card of patience. The farmer in the image has worked hard to plant and cultivate his crops, and now he must wait and trust the process while he does his best to nurture his investment so that it slowly grows, matures, and bears fruit. Taurus is renowned for their patience and their hard-working dedication, traits which are especially strong in this last group grouping of the sign. Slow and steady wins the race for you. Honest work will get you to wherever you want to go in life. There's no jumping ahead, skipping steps, or skimping out on quality. It's painstaking brick by brick. But trust in your own merit. Your efforts are worthwhile. You are planting the seeds of good fortune. As long as you stay the course and remain faithfully attentive to your commitments, you will be rewarded in due time. Thank you so much for listening, Taurus. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Comment if you have any questions. Share this with your friends or other Turians in your life, and please subscribe. I would be so happy to have you with me.